Hey all, welcome to the channel. This is CEO Trades, where money works for you. Today is Wednesday, July 14th. It's a little after 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we're looking first at the news. What news is out there that can affect, that can impact our stocks and cryptocurrencies in either a positive or negative way? And Hui becomes latest Chinese province to root out cryptocurrency mining. You know, China's gotten rid of about 90% of the mining that was going on for, with crypto, it's unbelievable, but that's where they're headed. Inflation is rampant. It is time to buy Bitcoin. Is it time to buy Bitcoin? I'd say wait. Let's wait, and I'll tell you why in a moment. Brief S&P Dow Jones Indices launches S&P Cryptocurrency Broad Digital Market Index. Isn't that fantastic that finally they're starting to come about and realize how important it is to be part of this growing cryptocurrency world? Brief. Prove signs multi-year agreement with Binance.us to enhance customer verification process. Well, that's, that's coming. Legitimizing taxes and so on is coming for those of you who are attempting to avoid it one way or another they're coming to find those that are involved bit digital inc announces bitcoin production and mining operation update for q2 british police sees record 408 million haul of cryptocurrency bank of england scraps curbs on bank dividends as pandemic crisis fades, British police seized 250 million of cryptocurrencies. Why so much negative news? Because negative news moved the world. Unfortunately, that's just the reality. That's how it comes about. That's just the way the world turns. Unfortunately, negative news is what sells, and you're going to hear uh, more and more about it. Here we have some of the top gainers on the right here. Some of the pre-market top gainers, DTSS is up 108%. It was what? Um, it's at 612 right now, I believe is what it is. And it was at 293 before we started. Uh, so that's an in amazing in gain of $3.10 right now. Is it going to last? I don't know a lot about this stock right now but you can see it up in here let's see if we can look into it even a little bit more just give me a second to zoom in well, i can't tell you much about where it's headed but i would say that it's not going to maintain wherever it lands at the top it's going to hit some type of resistance somewhere in here or i mean already it's already hit that resistance and it's going to come back down probably half Probably somewhere to the three-ish, four-ish area. OXBR is also up 40% this morning. You can see that, how that uh, candle looks right there. And you can see that it's hit 565 twice right up in here. I don't think it's going to hit that, test that again. It's going to stay somewhere in the four-ish range. Now, what news is available on this? Now, this is the weird thing. A lot of these softwares don't make it easy for you to find all the information. So I'm just using these software so you can visualize and see the differences. This is Webull I'm using here. I like some of the uh, things that are available on here, but overall, it's not the best way to invest for my purposes. It could be for you. If you're starting out, if you need to be ha to have some sort of basic system to start out, this is great. Webull is great. Compared to the Robin Hood, the Robin Hood, no. Rebull is much, much better, much better. So what else is moving here in reference to stocks? Now, I have a few picks of my own I'd like to look on, and one of them is NEO. NEO is a stock that's a great hold for the long term. For those of you looking to hold, to park your money, for the long term, it is now around the 45-ish range. Usually this stock is going to go up because it's an automaker. It's in the electric vehicle industry. It, it, it I remember when this was $2, $3 a share. Man, if I would have kept 
investing in this stock, we can see where my returns would have immensely given me what a hundred percent return, a thousand percent return or so from $4 to 45, where it is right now. I actually, when it was at 60, it would have been amazing. Will this stock go up? Yes, it will. I believe it will. I just don't know when because the overall market is, is trending downward. This one is consolidating the 45 ish range. And if we look at the four hour chart, we can see that this is where it's at right now in that consolidating path right here, 45. And it's formed the head and shoulder. This head and shoulder right here, I would say it's just getting ready to go upward trending. Why? Because in September, usually car makers release their 2022 vehicles and Neo will do the similar thing, releasing their new vehicles. If you're ready to invest, Neo is one of those stocks I like. JetBlue, JetBlue is also down. It's down to 16. It's rated at 21. I think it's going to hit 25, 30 within the next six to eight months. I could be wrong, but I believe it's going to go up. Why do I believe that? If we look at the chart for the last several months, let me see here. You see that it had a high of 2160-ish. Uh, I cashed in somewhere in there, and now it's back down. It's almost consolidating into this 16 where it's finding support right here. At the 16-ish level, it's, it's probably just below that, 1580-ish. And if we see it hold for at least another day, it should be a good buy for the long term, for the longer term, or for the interim. Uh, another one that I like is Norwegian Cruise Lines. This one has had a bit of a trouble getting out of Miami port. But in general, this will go up. It will go up to into the 30s, if not just barely hit the 40s. This is a long-term hold for me, Norwegian Cruise Line. I like it. It's at 26 right now, and it's valued somewhere in the 30s. There is positive news. There is an analyst saying that it's rated much higher than what it is right now. This is one of the meme stocks, Bed Bath & Beyond. You can see it's hit 53 back in January, and then it hit 44 back in May, and then it hit the 40-ish range, June 9th and June 28th. Will this go up? It will. I believe that this will go into the 40-ish range, 44, 45, maybe 48 range. It, by the time December comes around, Bed Bath & Beyond. That's right. And one more that we're looking at in reference to stocks is AYRO. AYRO right now is in the $4 range. This will go up. This is also one of those companies that's worthwhile investing in. Let's see if there's any news and references. Musk testimony boost Tesla STFC jumps on merger deal. MMAT continues to fall. Uh, AYRO to present at the Access to Giving Virtual Investor Conference, which is happening right now, July 13th to the 15th. You can see it right in here in the second one above. I read that this morning. So that's it for my uh, stocks. Well, I have two more. There's one here, AHPI, AHPI, which yesterday uh, had 128% gain. How do you find these stocks? Well, only through due diligence. As you start to do your own research, you'll find uh, how to look for these stocks. Right? You can see AHPI had a high of 15 back in June 19th of 2020. And now that it's in July, um, July currently, it's hitting back into the 11-ish, 12-ish range. I think it was yesterday a $9 range. Let, let's see the one hourly chart. You can see where it was. So it, it was on, on, at 11-ish on yesterday. And now it's back down at the sevens. Will it go back up? I don't think it will. I think it, it's going to stay down. These stocks, you either jump in somewhere in here and hold, you know, and cross your fingers get lucky, but most people should invest for the longer term because these are highly risky, highly volatile stocks. So just be careful. Now let's switch, switch screens to show you some of my uh, crypto investments here. Let's see if we can find it. Looking for it for you. Give me a moment. Let's see here. Here we go. 
Let's show as, as this pulls up here, you're going to see a similar trend line for all of these. Now, this is BAT, the basic attention token. You can see it's consolidating right here in the 52 cent range. Matic is consolidating in the 93, uh, just under a dollar range as, as it's coming up. You can see that. Doge is gone under 20 cents. It's at 19 cents right now. Will it still continue to go lower? I'm expecting it to go down to at least 16. And you can see it's consolidating right in here, 19-ish range, 20-ish range, right in there. Tron cases, it's fallen below the six cent range. It's at 0 0.059 cents. And that's also consolidating in that area. ADA Cardano is also consolidating. You're gonna see it. It's probably maintained more of a hold than, than many of the other cryptocurrencies right in the $1.26-ish range. Ethereum fell below 2000. It's at 1976. I'm expecting this to go down to at least 1800, if not 1700, where I'm going to set a um, limit to buy in the 1800, 1770 range, right down. Let's see where the support is 1740. So probably 1770. I'll set a, a, a um, limit buy order right in there. Bitcoin, I believe it's going to go below 30 in the next week. Why? Because there's new coins being released, Bitcoins being released from the mining industry. It's, it's going to happen in the next seven days as well as there is from grayscale, there is uh, a lot of Bitcoins being sold back. So just expect this. Why are they selling back? Because there's a chance that this is going to drop further as well as all the other ones. I'd say if you're looking to invest, this is what my, I would do with my thousand bucks. If I were looking to invest now, I would wait. I would wait at least another week or, or so and see what happens because we don't know where this is going to go down, how low this is going to go. If from history, Bitcoin has dropped 90%. This could drop further. However, I believe it's going to be maintained somewhere in the high 28-ish range. And if that happens, I'll, I'll hold. And I know that even if it drops further, eventually I will make my money back. And you will too if you're invested for the long haul. EOS has also dropped off and it's consolidating in the three, $3.80 range as we come up with this chart right here. Now, we haven't gone in depth into other uh, technical analysis in reference to these uh, cryptocurrencies and in reference to stocks because it takes a little bit of time. I'm looking to give you as much information as I can briefly so that you're able to take, make better judgments and you're able to pick up on how we invest in reference to the markets and cryptocurrencies. So give me a second here as I'm getting ready to show you my news in reference to what we're posting here uh, on our um, Telegram group. Give me a second here as we pull this up. Here we go. Okay. Now, as we pull this up, you're going to see some of the information we've gathered here today because it's important that you're aware that there's a lot of news being moved. Now, East China's Anhui will close all local cryptocurrencies mining projects. We already spoke about this. Nearly 90% of China's Bitcoin mining capacity has been shut down. 90, I thought it was 80. I read this this morning, but uh, made it made that uh, mistake there. Bitcoin breaks its support area, liquidity area, and given a close, close below candle, seems like grayscale unlike unlock building seems pressure. Pressure. We can see this type of movement till next week because there are multiple unlocks coming this week, and this is part of what I was just telling you yesterday. You can see the uh, the chart there as Bitcoin is going down, down, and it's gonna probably go into the twenty eight thousand ish area and test that area and see if it's going to have some support there. Now, this is the weird thing. Mining has picked up in the last month or, or 30 to 40 days. It's picked up, but it hasn't picked up in China because they've been booted out from there. And now they're picking up in other parts. El Salvador and, and other places are picking up. I don't have all that information. Bitcoin miners have been increasing. That's great, accumulating. Now, this one is Ethereum. And Ethereum exactly fell to our specified level of support zone. And this is through our chat group that we are giving out this information. If you're looking more to join our chat group, just follow the link in the description below this recording. 
ETH, ETH trying to push hard, higher as Bitcoin showing strength. Now ETH can push still 2040, 2060, but it's at 1860 is what we're going to see is support level or 1915. We can expect the fall to liquidity line around 1740. I'm looking to 70, 1770 to, to fill in there. This post we have looked at is a little bit lower, but I like to don't bottom out. I'd like to just be able to catch it uh, at close to the bottom as possible. If I bottom out or I catch the complete bottom, fantastic for me. Now we have some stats on Bitcoin here. You can see the price is 32,000. In the last 24 hours, it had a change of 0.38%, minus 0.38%. Uh, Ethereum has had a minus 1.31%. 1 1, 1 uh, KCS KuCoin has had a minus 3% change. And Dogecoin has had a minus 2% change. Now, there's more info in here. You can see U.S. crypto exchanges believe regulatory oversight could help them surpass Binance. I don't know the full deal on Binance. I know I got kicked out of Binance, and I'm not using it anymore in the, in the short term because I will go back. I like Binance. It has a lot of... Um, uh, gadgets in it that make it easy for anyone to invest. And a lot of these charts come from Binance. American Express enters NFT market with collaboration with musicians. This is wonderful news, wonderful news, as a lot of these big corporations start to pick up. So this is it for our tips on crypto and stock market. I hope that you are investing in your knowledge account because if you invest in your knowledge account, guess what? Your money account will grow, multiply. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel if you care. If you care, please share. Have a great one. And until tomorrow when we have our nightly live session on educating everyone on how to invest in the current market situations. Stay safe and have a good time.